Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to this poor fellow who has been standing there since the last episode. So the straw poll is very, very clearly in the favour of Craftmasters. Now, a lot of you did point out that I can go down any of these routes once I select one. I was mostly aware of that because I have done a live stream with the Ascent a few weeks back, I believe in Alpha 17, it's on my other channel, on my archive channel, so I was mostly aware of that, but the poll was more to do with which one am I going to go after the most, because I am going to focus on one of these over all of the others. And so we are going with the Craft Masters. The Royal Craftmasters honour those with an eye for excellence. Have your mason create a statue to their exacting specifications, and you shall be one of the few to impress them. And how else? With military, you must display courage and valour. I shall give your mason a recipe quest for the ingredients to craft a monument worthy of your sword arm. And finally, the church. The church of plenty favours those who share with their wealth with the those in need. I shall give recipes to your mason and your cook, build a fountain of plenty, and I shall be back to celebrate your achievements. How else can I do that? Craftmasters, Mason's Ho. Excellent! In addition to an appropriate monument, your town will also need to have accumulated a certain level of worth. I shall leave the requirements with you. Should you wish to consult with them again, or should you choose a different path, come to appeal more, blah blah. Okay! Thank you, milady. Wait, that's a female. I did- Okay, this is a female who I've been calling- Okay, well, sorry about that, love. Since bounty be upon you, Scorchbring, I shall leave you a bird. Okay, so you may summon me. Cool, I have a bird, apparently. Oh, yeah, so we do get all of them. Either way, though, I am going to go after the Masons one instead. Build and place that. Satisfy any of the following requirements to qualify your township status. Well, yes, I'm fairly certain none of those would work. So that's what we're doing then, the crafter's approval. The Church of Plenty and the Favour. So we need to build, let's just reset that so I can actually see it again. So I need to build and place the Guild Master's skill, which was done in the Mason, I believe. The Fountain of Plenty, the Valor of Seed, and the Guildmaster's Skills. Uh, okay, so we need to build a heavy bandage, a decorative vase, a comfy bed, a wall-mounted tapestry, and we need some steel. The steel is actually going to be the most annoying, because we currently don't have a blacksmith. So let's build a blacksmith straight away. So that's what we're after. We can almost build that, but we would need some honor tokens, and we can almost build that, but we would need a food donation box, which I'm going to assume is from the cook, and then we also have the gold ingot, which again, we need the blacksmith. So, we are going towards this one, as that's what the straw poll told us. We also need 5,000 net worth, which won't be too difficult, honestly, so it's mostly just building this. So, how do we make those things? I'm guessing the vase will come from... A potter and then the comfy bed is here so we can make one of those right now that's fine wait why do we need a bed to build this where is the bed here oh I guess it's like that bit of fabric but sure sure why not heavy bandage so that will come from a herbalist I'm almost certain so we can do the herbalist quite soon as well there we are Although we do need a little bit more wood, which is very, very annoying indeed. So, everyone carry on with what you're doing. I do need to level up my farmer a bit more so that we can go ahead and start planting more trees. So, just everyone level up. Everyone do what you were doing anyway. And as we go, we can work on all of that. Now, over here, I do need to get to these trees. So, what would be best, since we can't afford a ladder at the moment, is probably just to dig into this and then make a staircase out of the rock itself. Thankfully, since we have now run out of wood and there's nothing else for our lovely workers to do, ordering them to cut down trees is fairly effective as they go straight to it. And by trees, I mean the larger cacti, which happen to give you cactus logs, which are just as good as wood. Hello! Ooh, we have zombies and we have skeletons. Okay. Go and fight them, please. I may need more footmen very, very soon. 
And I will name those people very soon as well, don't worry. There we are, some more wood. Uh, I could just tell them to go and cut down these trees then, I suppose. Okay, let's see how this goes. We're already a little bit hurt. I think we'll be okay. However, we are now infected, which means he won't be healing automatically. So we really need to make a herbalist then now to do healing in that way. Well done, worker. That was... that was glorious. Fantastic. Okay, so who is going to be our herbalist? Um, I think you. I think you. You've got a really good spirit and a decent body. You'll be very slow to learn, but you will make a very good cleric, eventually. So, you are now a herbalist. Well done. So, Mr. Herbalist, I would very much appreciate a lovely herbalist's lab as soon as possible, and then maintain as many of those as well as you can. Then what was the other thing we needed? We needed one of these, a heavy bandage, which requires a level 4 herbalist. Wow, that's going to take forever. Now, thankfully, when it comes to getting herbs, all of this over here, all of these are all actually herbs. So, harvest all of those, and we can start making potions straight away. It's time to rename these two halflings before we see if we have a brand new person. So, this person, apparently because of his hairstyle, a lot of you, and I mean that as in about five separate people, have all said... He should be called Bill Nye, of course referring to Bill Nye the Science Guy. So there we are, Bill Nye, and finally the last person. I'm so sorry, this may be one of the saddest renamings, but there we are, we now have Forever Alone, and finally we move on to the last one. Once again, this is one of those names that a lot of individuals put down, so clearly it's in the minds of quite a few people. And this was between Chuck Norris, which apparently a lot of you wanted me to call him, and this, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Of course, I had to go with that. It's certainly a name far more dearer to my heart. So there we are. We now have Big Bertha, Aiden, the Gold Knight, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ron Weasley, Mr. T, Alice Steindorf, Dora the Explorer, Forever Alone, and Bill Nye. This is shaving up to be a very odd village indeed. Now, did he make the herbalist lab? Apparently not. We still need some more wood, so we'll wait for that, and then we shall carry on. This poor building here needs so much. I think the big problem is they're so inefficient when it comes to placing down scaffolding and such, it ends up co costing me more wood in scaffolding than the final building. Daily updates, we get a new person, which means we have someone else who needs to be renamed. This lovely fellow here, this lovely lass. Five of body and five of spirit and three of mind. This is instantly going to be our new soldier, so that at least makes the naming process a little bit easier. So there we are, we have a brand new footman who will most likely eventually become a knight because of the high body stat, so there we are with that. How's everyone doing? All collecting wood? All doing their jobs? Shouldn't have asked them to harvest all of that as well. Yeah, let's cancel that and make it easier on ourselves. No, 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 wrong button, wrong button. That is the correct button. We don't want to, to destroy them because it still takes time and effort. Just cut down all the trees. As soon as we can farm these, everything will be so much easier. Well, as soon as we can farm them and then they've grew up, which takes a long time, but still. Some big trees up there. If we could get up there, once we have a bit of excess wood, we have all of those. Have I made the lab yet? It'd be great if we had. Yes, we have! Fantastic! And the trapper has leveled up. So, what level is our farmer? The easiest way to check is just to see... Nope, still under level 5. Although, we can actually have a new farmer, which is really good for upping our value. Um, who would be the best farmer here? Bill Nye and Forever Alone have the exact same stat line. Dora the Explorer would make a fantastic knight eventually. So I'm thinking Forever Alone, you are going to be our new farmer. Hello, rugged survivalist. I have things to sell you. That is all. Uh, where is our tapestries? Do we have no tapestries currently ready? Am I blind? I mean, most of you will probably say yes, but... Hmm. Maybe I'm not seeing it. Clearly I'm not seeing it. That's really weird. Really? You've got no tapestries? 
I thought we'd have some. Oh, yeah, because we've put this on the bottom, haven't we? That's why. Okay, that makes sense. In that case, continue. I should have sold other stuff. I should have sold other stuff. But look, now we have two soldiers. And now we have two farmers. We can put down a much needed silkweed farm. And then over here. Yes, we are now growing weed, lads. We are growing weed for the glory of our village. And I'll also start growing some wheat. We need to move the farms, though. That's the most I'm going to put there, so very soon I'll put some stuff down here. Ooh, why did that food go rotten? I thought food didn't... Oh, no, food doesn't go rotten if it's in a chest. It does go rotten if it's in a stockpile. That's right. That's not even a aggressive goblin. Oh, look, he opens his mouth now. Is that new in Alpha 18? <laughs> I'm afraid we have two soldiers now. Is the flooring done here? If the flooring's done, we can start putting down some of the miscellaneous chests at least. So let's go ahead and do that. Just for now. Just shove them there. We'll put We'll put them all correct in a second. I will fix that. Why is there combat? Um There's combat music, but okay, that was weird. Combat music without the combat. All of the suspense, none of the action. You move there. And yes, I know they're not equal again. I'll be redoing that in a second. You're now making healing potions. Fantastic. Harvest that silkweed. And what we need to do is make it so this can't do food. Nope. Nope. And nope. And we'll put one of the chests over in here as well. And this will allow food. In fact, it will only allow food in those. And soon we should have a cook as well. So none except for food. None except for food. And none except for food. And now we just once again wait. Well, that's nice. Some enemies have spawned over here and they spawned with four logs. I'm okay with that. Thank you, goblins. Why else we can't build anything out of wood, why don't we go ahead and start planning out the rest of the village? So, this is going to be replacing the small ladder we normally have over here, which will then go all the way to the farming section, which is going to be near the water. Not that that actually gives us any bonus, but it just makes more sense and looks a lot better, at least, in my opinion. And that's the only opinion that matters. Okay, harvest both of you, fantastic. Then, from there, let's do the same and go all the way down, sticking with the four wide. And this can be the main road that goes through the village as well. Uh, let's end it about here, because I'm not sure how I'm going to do, to do the farms just yet. Finish editing, yes. Start building. Actually, what we should have done is built it up to here, but until this building's finished, I don't want to build near it because that could cause a few problems. So, for now, we pretend this storage building isn't even here. A brand new day, and apparently we are under attack, and we have a new person, Lee Pap. Okay, sir, you are very pale looking. Wow, really high mind, really high body. You will most likely be the blacksmith, purely because of that high mind stat. But where am I under attack from? Ah, tiny little pebbles. Why can't I be under attack from the Entlings? They drop wood. I want wood. Give. Okay, everyone get away since you're getting far too close. And now back to work. Stop coming here with stone to sell. That's not what I want. But here, you can have some tapestries. I'll save one, though. How's everyone doing? Good. In terms of value, we are increasing rather rapidly. Ooh, we must have collected the first bundle of silkweed. I wonder how much we actually got from that. You there, how much fiber? Well, not much, but you have been using it, so... I'm guessing it's probably like one fiber per plant, which probably isn't too much, but it's it's okay, and it's renewable, and I don't have to keep on clicking it, which is actually really nice. 
I could grow more. I could already start a massive industry, but I want to wait for that. That can happen later. I could put down another farm as well. Oh, uh, no. For now, I'll just leave them with what they've got. They seem to be handling it well. Well done, you're a level 2 farmer. Which means I could turn you in, into a cook and then have only one farmer. But I need the two farmers at the moment. So, you two stay as you are. And can somebody please collect all of those lovely, lovely herbs? Ooh, I see you. Hello. Soldiers, destroy the heathen! The glorious Lathrixian Legion will rise, and we don't have things like this besmirching our view. Oh, you just got poisoned. And we got silver, silver, and steel. Um. Okay. Oh, actually, didn't we need steel for the craftsman thing? No, yes, we do need steel, so that's one of the two. Maybe we won't need a blacksmith. That would be really, really helpful, to be honest, but probably won't happen. But steel would be very helpful. May as well mark all of these for when my workers have some spare time. Whoa, so many trees over here. But it's so far away. I've got to say, since Alpha 18, the Halflings are much happier going much further away from their homes to do all the basic tasks. And yes, I do see that lovely fellow right there and the wolves over there. So let's focus on this big guy over here first and hopefully get something cool out of the chest, like another steel ingot maybe? And then we'll deal with the wolves. Although honestly, I think this guy needs to heal first. Or girl, I can't remember. A trader! If I make him six wooden doors, uh, already no, I just can't. Is that steel? No, it's silver, it's worth more, but it's not what I wanted. And I think the two of them can probably deal with the wolves. I know you're hurt, but I believe in you. What are your names, anyway? The Gold Knight and Alex, because you haven't been renamed yet. You have a normal name. It's weird. Hang on, daily updates, I'm watching this fight. Oh, just about. We need to upgrade them soon. Daily updates and not quite enough wealth. Ah, well, we'll live. Wonder how the building's doing. Ooh, we almost have the basic building done, just need the roof now. And since we're getting so much wood from pretty much everywhere, it shouldn't take too much longer. Hopefully. Level up faster, why- Oh, you are! You are now level 5! Oh, fantastic! Happy days, happy days indeed. Okay, turnip farm. Remove. You are now- Oh, why did I remove that? I could have just swapped. Oh, well. Oak saplings, yes. And I think both of them can grow them. It's just I have to have at least one level 5 in order to put down the order. Ah, little squirrels trying to help heal them. Where's our herbalist? We definitely have some health potions left. Well, yeah, we have 23. The herbalist should be healing them when they're asleep, but apparently not this time. How did you... Okay, well, the herbalist apparently is bugged out. So that's good. Do you need a little step? How did you even get down there? Stop crying. Someone will help you eventually. I hope. Someone, please. I don't want to cut into this. That'll look... Oh, but he's... I don't want him to die, though. Fine, you you can save yourself. Just dig dig this little bit here. Oh, I don't like digging here. Fine, just dig it. Go on. Do the thing. Obi-Wan. The force is not with you today, sir. It will forever be known as the Obi-Wan Cube. The cube to prove that our herbalist is a dum-dum. And we have a new person. Fantastic. Who are you? You are particularly good at everything. Okay, welcome. And also, again, very pale. Combat music. Why? Why, 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 why? I can't say anything bad. Uh, no one's taking damage. I can't hear combat music. Oh, look, healing. Yay, well done. Look at Obi-Wan there, using the force to heal our lovely fellows. And now to annoy people. Maybe the healing potions are simply bottles of midichlorians. <laughs> oh. 
Handily dispatched. Well done, warriors. And we almost have a new person. Now, over here, I've decided to put down some farmland. Although I won't be farming anything yet, I just want it to look a little bit more fertile. I want it to look more like soil rather than sand. So I'm just putting all this down here. Really no reason for it. I just think it will look better. I mean, I could... I could put down trees, the reason being, look at how long they take to harvest. It takes a very long time for, for them to be big enough to be harvested, so we could just put them down here and then just forget about it. We still need a lot more wood, sadly, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to get any. Also, you need a shield. I didn't even realise it, but that lovely fellow needs a shield. Whoa! We have loads of wood! Why are we not building? I guess building is less important than doing... Well, going, going to gather stuff, so I should really put some of them on build only. So, you there, Door of the Explorer, you can only build. And why aren't you building then? You should be building that. I'm thinking perhaps I might need a restart. There we are. As soon as I restarted, instantly it was starting to be built. It was just one of those issues that when you've left something for so long, sometimes the halflings forget how to do it. Now, something a lot of you did tell me, which I think is very true, is to build a building first and then add the ceiling later, because the roofing right now is really weird. I don't know why they need so many scaffoldings to do this. And one chest left! There we are! That is a lot of storage, which means I can finally get rid of this in the middle of the village, which is going to cause a fair bit of lag. But there we are, we now have all these items currently just everywhere. We can also empty the small crates because they look absolutely awful there. And then we have all of this space spare, which means we really need to start working on other buildings so we can store the beds and everything else. Also moving the farm down to here, over by the water, will be fantastic. We are definitely now on our way to getting everything done. And our first set of trees is almost finished, which means we can plant them and let them grow and then harvest them for a lot of of wood, which means we can start building everything in the nice wooden style I'm getting more and more fond of the more I build with. You can be emptied as well, you can be emptied as well as well, and that is that. Okay! Well, whilst they're clearing up, which is going to take quite some time, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. Please bear in mind we now have two new people. With, no, three new people, in fact. This lovely fellow, this lovely fellow, and our new footman. So if you have any name suggestions for any of those three, please tell me which one you want to name and the name you wish to give them. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel and most importantly shows that stone half is a series you wish to see continued in the future thank you so much for watching and goodbye